PTC Creo Parametric 3.0 Lesson 13, Part 1. In this lesson, we're going to create an assembly and learn a variety of pattern commands and also investigate and use the new tools that are available for automating the screw and the dowel input into an assembly. So some of these parts, there's only two parts really, and they're very simpler. So we'll just go over them and only show the uh, unique aspects of the commands, not the uh, full construction. So I'm going to open up the bracket here. And we're going to roll it back in the model tree. We'll roll it back to the uh, profile rib. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the rib and edit the definition of it just to see it. Well, before we do that, actually, if you really want to, I guess I can go back to the original, the original part, which is like an L bracket here. And it's nothing more than a very simple section. So just make sure you use the proper references. And other than that, it's fairly simple. It's got a constant thickness here. So that's not very complicated. The uh, rib itself, again, it's a profile rib. Edit the definition of it here. Edit the sketch. Go into the sketch view. And you'll see because it's the profile rib command, we have only three entities here. And it's going to fill in everything from those entities to the object, in this case, the first feature. So you don't have to enclose this. In fact, you won't be able to because it is a rib command. The only thing that can go wrong here is people tend to just grab onto the rib command up here. And for some reason, the trajectory is the default. I'm not quite sure why that's like that. But originally, there wasn't a trajectory. And just the last few versions, a, a trajectory rib has been added. And profile rib is normally the one. So just make sure you select the correct one when you're doing that. That's all. All right. The next thing is, let me go down here. We're going to put in the holes. And if you notice in the text, in the PDF, we'll go down and we'll take a look at the hole that's going to go in there. And when I did this, I originally, well, when we get to it, I'll show it to you again. So basically, we're going to put in a, a pattern hole. And then we're going to remove some of them from the instances that we want propagated on it. So I'm going to start with moving this up one more. And we'll put in the hole. So the hole is going to be a standard hole. It's going to be a half inch in diameter. It's going to have a countersink. It's going to be through all. And you look at the shape, make sure you've got through all thread selected. And I think we've changed this to 0.5 just to make it a little more appropriate for the size. And we're going to just pick a position for it and measure from the bottom and the reference on the left right here. So this is 7 inches, and this is 2 inches, like so. Little mouse button to finish it. It's still selected, so right mouse button pattern. Or, of course, you can go up here to pattern in the ribbon. And let's open up what it says here. We're going to choose fill. And under references, we're going to define a sketch on this face here. And we're going to use offset loop. Pick this again. And it's negative 0.3825, I think. So you want to have it come in towards the center here. You don't want it to go offset to the outside. Close. 
and we'll go into our sketch view like so check now in the book I actually missed one of these let's get rid of all this so that we can uh, see it a little bit better and let's go into hidden line and we will go into the either one of the views I'll hit the right view here okay so basically you can see the underneath here you can see the rib let's see what happens if I do this okay I'm looking from the that direction so it helps um, I want to remove this bottom line of holes so the pattern's not going to be down there. And we want to use the ones where the rib is because we don't want holes going through the ribs. This is a mounting bracket, so you're going to have a lot of holes to choose from to screw into. But the ones going through here, either you give a depth or you block them out. We're just going to take them out. So we're going to remove them. I noticed in the book I didn't do this one here. I did put a note in there to remind you to do that. So. These are the ones you're not going to see when it gets propagated. Middle mouse button. And there is our pattern. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some welding here. So click on the applications. Now, if you don't have this in the uh, student or academic edition, then you won't be able to do this portion. Just skip it. I noticed in Creo 2.0, some people weren't a lot able to do it unless they came into the lab and uh, did it at school. So it depends on what system you have, what uh, capabilities. I'm not sure if it's activated for everybody in Wildfire 3.0. So again, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just don't do it uh, before you hand it into your instructor. Uh, put a note on it saying that you know, that capability wasn't available. So welding and we're going to use the fillet weld and click on location just so we can see what's going on here. Now side one is going to be here on the base and then side two and I, we can get to that by right mouse button side two and we're going to select all the vertical faces here right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, like so. And then right mouse button, we're going to do a new set. And this time, you got to be a little careful here because this stays active. You want this to be the primary one, so you're going to select here. And then select in here, or like I said, just pick side two, right mouse button, side two. So <clears throat> let's collect all the vertical faces here. Hold on your control key, of course. Right mouse button to get the back side. You don't have to turn the model. Right mouse button will filter it to the other side. Like so. Check. And you have your fillet. I think they made this one a little too big. I think uh, it's supposed to be 0.125. All right, let's take a look. I think this is where I want to stop with this particular one, and we'll do the plate in the next short lecture.